sure there's a more polite way of saying this, but, <clears throat> well, my life is just screwed. It's screwed because many reasons, actually. One is I feel scrutinized on a more petty level. I feel scrutinized for having stupidly coloured hair, dressing the way I want, and on a larger scale, my life is screwed because I have zero contact with my entire family because they are emotionally abusive sometimes have been physically abusive um, they triangulate gaslight ignore me are rude to me um, they try and fish for information when I try and interact with them um, they only show off my good traits to strangers and other people but not me they don't talk to me directly, they don't praise me directly for my accomplishments, but they praise um, me only to other people. Also, I have no career, because a career doesn't really exist anymore. Uh, you have a job doing things you don't inherently like. Um, but you get paid to do something skilled. What else? I have no... I can't say I have no friends, but I have no friends I can relate to, who I have things in common with, who think the same as me, who feel the same way as me, who understand me, but at the same time respect me and... Um, don't cross any boundaries. So I don't have any friends who don't cross boundaries and yeah, people who respect me essentially. And I guess respect doesn't come quite often if you're female because people seem to assume if you're female you want love not respect. Well I want both. Um, also, I have several videos I've made, but my laptop keeps crashing, this iPad keeps crashing uh, and freezing, and uh, I also made other videos also on the iPad, but it's too long to upload. There's not really much I can do, really. Um, oh. My life is screwed also because um, my time is up for housing and there are zero small bedsits for a reasonable price in a non-dangerous area um, where there aren't any rapes or murders at 4 or 5 in the morning just casually, you know, which seems to happen quite often in or the suggested um, government housing, which I do not really like anyway. Um, and I refuse to stop dreaming, I refuse to come back down to earth and deal with the reality that because I come from a certain background and because of unfortunate events that I must, I too must live in a bad area, I too must like live amongst my kind because of my socio-economic background. Which I think it's complete and utter lies. I refuse to be a sociological product of my own environment. I refuse that. I absolutely refuse that. And I just don't rely off government. Don't rely off help. Um, I, I despi I'd say I despise it, but um, I don't like being reliant on any government or system. Because the government, once you're getting help from them, they keep tabs on you and you get phone calls all the time. Um, 
to check up on you and if you're not if you're a vulnerable person or if you're mentally insane I'm not actually mentally insane I'm just vulnerable um, according to some tests because unfortunately predators like to target me and um, if not target me people seem to ask me for drugs and stuff um, because of my race or something or they, they, they assume that I have access to drugs is it written on my face I do drugs and I have access to drugs do I look like somebody that uses drugs no stop asking me for drugs um, I mean when a potential relationship asks you for drugs assuming you have access to drugs and you're going to transport for them uh, drugs illegally and risk getting caught for them on public transport just to visit them to give them drugs who am I, drug dealer? that's that's like a complete turn off that's, that's disgusting I'm not that kind of person I'm not uneducated I don't talk like a local um, I, I refuse to act like um, a redneck or in the UK a chav or in Russia they call them gopniks um, like just because I'm poor or I don't have connections does not make me a stupid idiot I feel like I've come to a point in my life it's not even a case of I need to prove myself to other people but to myself I can and and, may, and the people who did st hint that I'd amount to nothing I'm going to prove all of you wrong I'm going to prove everyone wrong I'm going to prove my own old self wrong that I am better I'm not a piece of shit to be trampled on I'm not I'm not something to be kicked around when I'm down as this old song from the 80s is, I don't know I can't remember the name of it, but it's Im implying the narcissism inherent in this society, which is, you know, kick you when you're down, kick you all around. Like, no, I am not having any of that. And yes, my hair is a stupid colour. Um, it's only temporary. I'm sick of being blonde, but I don't know what else to... <sighs> I'm like this close to thinking, oh, I should shave my head, but then I'd look messed up. Um... I'm just sick of it. So, yeah. And my widow's peak is growing back in. It's really annoying, really. Like, I'm, I'm tired of feeling constantly flawed. Like, I'm not good enough. My nose is too big. Uh, I've, I've got a widow's peak that's growing out of the stubble. Uh, or I have spots. Uh, my hair is blue. I dress like stupid or clumsy. Um, I don't take care of myself. Maybe I'm just not good at that stuff. And even when I think I've got to a level of taking care of myself, um, and taking care of my appearances in my way as I choose is right, like my hair, my clothes, my makeup, it's still not good enough. It's still not good enough to the average stupid male population. I'm tired of constant criticism. I don't have tattoos. I don't dress like some slag. I don't, like, uh, I'm not, like, even if I did, who cares? But I don't. So it's like, and now I can't even dye my hair without the presumption that I'm mentally unstable every time I dye my hair. It's temporary hair colour. Like, I just... It's my hair, for God's sake. Why am I not allowed to do what, what I want to my hair? It's like, it's like a guy, it's as bad as a guy being criticised or bullied because he refuses to cut his hair or he, ref or he refuses to grow his hair out to please his girlfriend. It's my hair at the end of the day. I'm goddamn near 30 and people still treat me, even without the stupid hair colour, as if I'm 17 years old, people assume I'm a child, people call me kiddo. I'm not a fucking kid. Leave me the fuck alone. Stop molly coddling me. And just like, I want respect. Like, if people are going to, to only give me help in a non-respectful way, when there's no equal exchange, and you're going to look down on me whilst giving me help 
And I don't want any help. I'd rather starve to death. I'd rather go homeless. I'd, I'd rather, like, die than be around people who just, like, essentially abandon me in one way or another. I don't need anybody. And I don't trust men. It's not that I hate men. But I don't trust anyone at this point. I have been betrayed by so many people. I've been toyed and played around with by so many people. It's like I'm literally better off investing all my emotional energy, intellectual energy, and everything into myself. Does that make me a narcissist? Then maybe it does. Maybe I'm a full-blown narcissist for taking care of myself and putting myself first. The difference is I don't care about supply. I just want good times with... A few people that I can consider my friends through thick and thin. And if you can't be here when I'm going through my worst, then get the fuck out of my life. Don't give me that I'm here for you when you're not even here for me. And one thing I also don't appreciate is don't try to use logic to explain away my feelings. It's my feelings. I'm not irrational. I'm not delusional. Who gives a shit if I was schizophrenic? I'm not schizophrenic. It's like I don't hear voices. I'm not seeing the whole place warp into some weird psychedelic drug trip. And if it did, well, I'd get help for it. But I don't. And since when is having a Kundalini awakening threatening to other people? Like, how is that dangerous? Why am I dangerous for feeling feelings and, like, meditating? Is that so much of a bad thing? <sighs> so now Kundalini is bad because it means I will go manic and I'll run off in the street going crazy. Yeah. No, it won't. <sighs> I'm far too burnt out and jaded for anything to surprise me. And secondly, I'm far too burnt out and jaded even contemplate doing crazy stuff like i've thought about doing crazy things when i was younger but i've rarely acted upon do these thoughts it's it's just common sense you just let the feeling pass and then voila you don't have to worry about that ever again and if anyone thinks i'm a social justice warrior or some far leftist. You know, screw yourself as well. This blue hair and the way I dress has nothing to do with my political viewpoint. I'm neither left nor right. I'd consider myself a classical uh, liberal uh, or centrist, so leave me the fuck alone. Thank you very much.